Hello my lovelies, welcome back to Rouge Pat Beauty. And yes, I have a haul video. It's a mixture of things. There's the monthly subscription stuff. There's some little gifts to myself because I can't share things I've bought for other people. But they're kind of pre-birthday, pre-Christmas gifts to myself. Bits I've wanted and I've bought them. So I'm going to share them with you. Let's make a start because I've also got some samples as well that I wanted to show you that I'm going to try. Um, the first one... Um, this is Love Me Beauty, which I've been subscribed to for six months. Um, really exciting at first when I signed up. There were lots of things I wanted to try and I love the fact you get the makeup bag um, each month with your products. However, the last two or three months I have felt it dwindling down. It hasn't been as exciting to choose things and I've really struggled with my choice. The last one I got was just one product, which is the Joanna Vargas... Um, hydrating cream. Now I actually um, wanted the exfoliating mask and they said to me oh it had been damaged in transit so they were sending me the cream instead which was very kind of them. Um, maybe the exfoliant had sold out, probably it had. But I really wanted to try that. Uh, but I have this which is a 50ml daily hydrating cream. It smells amazing. Um, I have been using it, it smells sort of coconutty and of summer and beaches and oh it's just lovely um, but it's early days, it's okay, I don't feel it's hydrating enough even though it is quite an extensive consistency but I got that and I have now cancelled my subscription for now, um, I just felt I was struggling to choose things and therefore it was a bit of a waste of my money so that's the last product I've chosen from Love Me Beauty for now. Um, samples, I can't remember what this came with but I have wanted to try it, it is only tiny, it's the Estee Lauder Revitalising Supreme Plus Wake Up Balm and I've seen quite a lot of positive comments about this. The odd thing about sachets, I often find I really love the little sachet of product and sometimes I've gone to buy the full size and it's just not been the same, I don't know why but maybe it's how it's packaged and the fact it's a tiny amount but I'm going to try that. Love Me Beauty also sent me of the Sisley. Um, this is the cream contour eye and lip cream. Um, just a small sample. They basically asked if I was interested which I was. I do like Sisley products um, but yes so I have that. Um, I'm very cynical about eye products so it's going to be interesting you know it's very rare for me to really love something and the one item that i've really loved 2017 has been the superdrug eye product so we'll see what sisley can do for us not the cheapest brand out there but the products have a lot of love so a high hopes or eye hopes Oof. Um, a couple of votary samples. I have the Super Seed Facial Oil and the Toning Serum, Lemon and Neroli. Oh, I love a bit of Neroli in my skincare. So, just a little sample there, and then the Super Seed Facial Oil as well. So, sample some votary. Charlotte Tilbury, I have Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. When it first launched, I bought, I think I had two pots. Of the magic cream which I really liked however I did feel that there were others out there that worked better and as well as um, one of them being the Liz Earl um, super skin moisturizer which for me was outstanding and outweighed this but a lot of people love the magic cream there's nothing wrong with it it's very luxurious so a sample of that I will use it I've got a sample of the Charlotte Tilbury scent of a dream um, her fragrance which when you hear how it came about and the whole backstory and the development of it I find absolutely fascinating um, but yes I'm looking forward to trying that I keep hearing people say it's floral and I don't like floral but we'll see Multi Miracle Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a cleanser, mask and balm for baby soft skin. Not tried that. Um, just reading the ingredients, as you do. But yeah, a sample of that. 
I think that's all the samples. That gives you an indication of what's to come in the box. So let's start with um, a subscription that I have continued, which is Beauty Pie. And I really like their system, I like their pricing, and I like the fact that they're always introducing new but very needed and wanted products. And they've just launched their retinol range. Um, and I, there was an eye serum, moisturiser and hand cream. I've gone for the Super Retinol Face Serum, anti-aging face serum, 50ml. Um, I hope nobody's offended by my use of the term anti-aging. I know a lot of people don't like it, but that's what it says here. And uh, yeah, Super Retinol. I haven't used it, obviously. Formulated in Switzerland. Swiss skincare. And it's in this very attractive packaging that always reminds me of Chanel, between you and me. And Visible Wrinkle Reduction. Not particularly got it for that, but I have got it for the radiance boosting and resurfacing. Um, and I'm going to use that on my face and my neck. More to come. I will endeavour to review it on camera and I'll also write a blog post about it. So that's to use. And some bits that I bought for myself. So this is my sort of birthday Christmas to myself. Votary. Um, Caroline Hyman did a video about Votary. I will put a link to it, but the offer is no longer available. And I think, was it 20% off? 20 25% off. I went for the facial oil, which was Neroli and Myrrh. Um, and I do love Neroli. And I love Votary. I love the way their ingredients are developed and blended. And I love the ethos of them and just the whole look of the brand. I've currently got their cleansing oil, which is absolutely beautiful. So I got this. I'm sure it's just the start of a facial I love. And then I went for this, which is a little bit of a risky choice because although it's the Votary Intense Night Oil, it is a retinoid, but it does have rose hip. And I am very iffy about rosehip in that certain blends my skin reacts and it just comes out in tiny little bumps over my face, especially over my forehead. Um, but we are looking at grape, apricot, avocado, um, the rosehip, tomato, calendula. I love calendula. It's a really good calming ingredient. So. We will see. It's not the cheapest. I would be very upset if it doesn't work, but it just sounded so amazing. I will let you know. So I have that for my evening routine. Next, a gift to myself. This is my probably longest favourite fragrance. In my 20s, I absolutely loved Ghislaine and Samsara. I just bottle after bottle. I was also quite partial to Christian Dior's Poison. And I really love Dolce Vita by Christian Dior. But this was the one that whenever I wore it, aside from Angel by Thierry Mugler, this was the one that people always ask me about. Luckily this time of year they start to do gift boxes. So how could I say no? And it is Chanel. And you won't be surprised. You know what it is. It is Coco Mademoiselle. I've got the 50ml and I've got the Eau de Parfum. Um, the Eau de Toilette is nice. But generally you only get one to two hours from an Eau de Toilette. Eau de Parfum you'll get a good four to five, maybe six. And obviously your natural parfum that has more oils in, you're looking at an all day very intense fragrance and very expensive. Um, this is expensive but I don't need a lot and it's my signature fragrance and I needed a new bottle. So it's my birthday present to myself. Um, there's quite a few birthday presents to myself, but this is my biggie, lovely, love it. Right, um, colour to share with you. A lot from Charlotte Tilbury. I just had a Charlotte Tilbury urge, and I do like some of her things and not all. Um, I've heard wonders, wonders about this, wonderful things. Airbrush Flawless Finish, which is their skin perfecting micro powder. Um, I'm always a bit funny about powders. I used to powder an awful lot and I was a fanatic for using loose powder, but I'm more a sort of compact girl. And because powders are more finely milled now, even when they're compressed, you still get really great results. But I've heard so much about this. I've always been a bit cynical when people 
online, you know, and you see people with Charlotte Tilbury and they're saying, oh, this is fabulous, that's fabulous. It makes me a bit wary, but I have a friend who works as a makeup artist and she only uses this now. She said it is literally like having your skin airbrushed. I've gone for shade two medium and it's, it looks perfect. I've not used it, but you will see it in tutorials. I will come back to you. I do like the packaging, but I just wish for the cost of them, and I'm sure it would be expensive to make it, if they were just proper metal compacts. But I do like the colour of it, the plastic's very attractive in that colour, but I just want some proper metal old fashioned makeup and I just think Charlotte Tilbury is the person who could really do that and sell it. So anyway, I have that. Then I have um, Colour Chameleon and I do like eyeshadow pencils, the big chubby sticks. I've not tried any of the Charlotte Tilbury ones but I have got the dark pearl which is perfect for brown eyes. So I have that one and it's sort of a mink shade. Very very similar to the Mona Lisa her eyeshadow cream which is probably my favourite product from Charlotte Tilbury. I adore it. So this is the eyeshadow stick pencil version in my opinion of that and it's a lovely texture so so beautiful really beautiful I love it and it does dry down but you can work with it for a certain length of time so I chose that one. I also um, got this which is their iconic liquid eye pencil even though it is a pencil and I've had this before now you've probably will remember this. Um, I think I bought this when Charlotte Tilbury first launched. It's Barbarella Brown and I loved it and I used it down to sort of the stump. Really good brown. It's got a sort of ready tone to it which really suits my eyes and I love to use it in my waterline under and also to line the top of my lids. So, so those two together are a perfect match. I also have a lip pencil. For years I stopped using lip pencils and I'm really getting back into them. More on their own, so just a swatch of colour on my lips. Um, I do tend to put lots of balm and stuff on to make sure my lips are in great condition. But nice also under lipstick to give it that longevity. Great over lipstick to give it a different finish. And I chose one from Charlotte Tilbury because I tend to go for cherries and rubies and reds. And this one is the Lip Cheat, which apparently helps you reshape and resize. And it's Pillow Talk. Now, I don't extend my lip shape at all, but I do think it's nice to have a very neutral line sometimes, just as guidance. Your lip definition does fade as you get older. And I do think it just helps to give you that area to work in. But a good colour if you do want to just take your lip shape, if you've got a small top lip but a fuller bottom lip, you can just extend it without it looking garish. The days of having a really dark lip liner and light lipstick are in the past. For now, I'm sure it'll come back. Um, Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. This is the easy highlighter. I saw this in action on a video and just thought it looked amazing. It comes like this, it's not a massive amount, 12 mils and when you actually, you turn it on and off here, when you actually press it to get product out there is so much air in the tube. I was literally pressing it down to here before product came out. So yeah, not overly impressed with the amount for the cost of it, but the results um, look fabulous um, on video. And I've tried a little bit and you do get a very subtle sheen. There's no shimmer, but it is just this amazing glow on the face. I want to apply it on video for you so you can see the full effect, but I'm liking the look of that. And then talking of red lip pencils, <laughs> This is from Laura Mercier. It's quite difficult to get hold of, which is confusing. I don't know why. And it's one I've been after for quite some time and I just couldn't get it anywhere. It also comes with a pencil sharpener. How great is that? But it is their Ruby. Their Ruby lip liner, um, which is sort of a more a pinky tone than a ready tone. But it works so well under red tone lipsticks, really, really good. If you've got an orangey lipstick and you like it but not enough, use this and it just works on the tone. 
Um, I had it quite a few years ago and it was just one of my favourites and since I've gone back into them I really wanted to get this but it was a struggle. Um, I think it was, was it Selfridges? Maybe Selfridges in the end I found it but, and they're very soft as well Laura Mercier lip liners, you don't have to work the pencil down and that's the other thing some people will say to me oh the pencils are really scratchy the best thing you can do when you get a new one is actually work it flatten it work it soften the pencil and you'll see a huge huge difference but I love Ruby and I love to wear it on its own as well and I just think points for having a pencil sharpener, which a lot of brands used to do, but now a lot will charge you extra for the pencil sharpener. Right, that's my whole birthday Christmas gifts to myself. Thank you for joining me and I will be back very soon with another video. Bye.